morning to you. Well, here we are again. Stomach is still tuned in an absolute knots. Good morning, Stephen Collin. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's not Friday. I didn't think I could do it any longer. Here we are, Monday, and we have to come back and do it t tomorrow. I've lost all my hair. <laughs> 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 oh, you both have. Just happened over there. the last couple of weeks. I know. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. But anyway, you guys are here to brighten us up and, and cook something fabulous with prawns, seafood. Well, mm -hmm. something nice to today. today. Mm -hmm. We've only got three minutes, haven't we? Yeah, we, we figured <laughs> the racing and the celebrations would be on, so... Uh, it's some sautéed prawns with a, with a mango and melon salad. Very nice, light, summery dish. Sounds pretty good to me. Chris Dixon just said that Oracle have kind of got a little bit of momentum, a little bit going on. We need to stop this, OK? I don't know if it's with your food or what it is, but we need to stop this. Oh, we'll do it. All right, yeah. we, we can do that. OK. We can do it. Also on the show today, ever wondered what makes the mad butcher mad? We will find out on our special Grumpy Old Men panel featuring Speed Leach, David McPhail and Paul Little this morning. Uh, we meet the Kiwi Kids Entertainer taking the world by storm. Mr. Yippity is here to perform with the one and only Mr. Wonky Donkey 2. They're touring together, those two. What a cool show that would be. And was it the tongue or was it the twerk that tore them apart? The Woman's Day has the inside scoop on Miley and Liam's split. Oh dear, it was all looking so good. Now it's just so pear-shaped for those two, is it? As it happens. Do you even know who they are? <laughs> I know. No, I, I'm going to add lib for a second. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I do is I got teenage daughter. Ah, uh, there you go. And a slightly younger son who's I don't know whether he's Miley crazy or not. But I don't is, think he is. is the daughter crazy, Miley crazy, or is she no, thinking? Hmm, no. What are My you doing? My son quite Miley? likes the wrecking ball clip though. But oh, that's, about that. that's another story, isn't it? Indeed. Okay. Right, we can do some cooking. I Got suppose we better. All right, mate. I'm going to do the dressings. I've got a lime dressing to go with it, so it's mm. nice and easy. So, well, we did, couldn't get lime today, so we got lemon. So either either really. Okay. Okay. Citrusy. Indeed, with a little bit of sweet chilli and some fish sauce, which we all know about. What are you doing that for? Just give them a little massage so then I can squeeze and get most of the juice out. Aww. Or you can use an old-fashioned juicer or you can get Colin to do it because he's got big fat hands. <laughs> right, mate, what are you doing? So I'm just getting started on the salad. Um, first thing I'm doing is just slicing my mango, peeling it. We've got, got to give them something to do. Yeah. Nice little battens. So don't waste those. We'll save those for... Uh, Fruit salad for Tell tonight. Us, what are you doing? Is it a prawn salad? A prawn, a prawn salad, salad. sauteed prawn salad. Yep. Mm -hmm. With um, mango and melon, fresh well, herbs and lime dressing. We've had a little bit of sunshine in the last couple of days. We have. Depending on where you are, I guess. But um, it was feeling just a little bit like summer in my parts yesterday. It did for us too out west. Mm. It's always summer out west, isn't it, mate? Absolutely. I was down in Pukekohe yesterday. It was okay. gorgeous down there. That's not west. No, it's oh. far from it. It was a bit of a family reunion, actually. It was, was good it? fun. Yeah. Oh, nice. Did you cook? No, well, it's amazing. better. I didn't have family. <laughs> was it your wife's family, wasn't it, mate? It was my wife's family, actually. Yeah. Good fun. Okay, so this is nice and easy. In goes the juice. In goes the peanut oil. If you don't like peanut oil, you can use any oil you like, really, except for olive oil. Right. And olive oil okay. because it's like too strong. Oh, the extra virgin olive oil is a little bit strong. Mm. Yep. So, um, and then the fish sauce. Now, obviously, you treat that with a little bit of respect. It smells like uh, not fish the most sauce. pleasant thing, but it tastes lovely. No. So it's a really simple dressing to make, and you can make lots of this dressing and just use it for lots of other things as well. Okay, then we're going to use a bit of palm sugar. All right, if you don't have palm sugar, simple brown sugar will be okay. okay. No problem whatsoever. All right. Okay, and you put that in. All you do is whisk it up, or if you've got one of those little jars, you give it a shake, you're rocking and you're rolling. How much? How much palm sugar do you need? Um, look, I do it by taste usually, but we'll put a recipe out there so people can get a bit of an idea. But it, yep. it's really about individual taste. Now, when you try it like this, though, it does sort of go, oh, you're, you're not sure. But when you actually mix it with everything else, yeah. it gives it a whole different flavour again. And normally we shake the salad up, but getting him to shake the salad up, he shakes as well. It's not a pretty sight. <laughs> Did you schedule your weekends around this racing? Pretty much. You yeah. like your Sundays, your Saturday and Sunday mornings? Yeah. It's yeah, funny, I, yeah it? it's crazy. What's it done to us? Oh, I tell you. People cancelling things, people not turning up to things they're meant to be going to. That was us yesterday. Yep. Oh, exactly. It's hard, I mean, isn't it? We didn't even blink and race. I had the neighbours over. We had breakfast at my place yesterday. It was oh, did you? Gorgeous. Where was my invite? Oh. Sorry, Chef. <laughs> I mean, technically, my neighbours are only 10 minutes apart. OK, because he's very slow and we've only got seven minutes, he's doing the salad. But what I did in anticipation, knowing that he couldn't cut that fast, is I've actually made oh, some up already. So what he's doing is he's dicing all his up or slicing them or doing a little bit of a julienne-type cut it's, with the melon. just two different types of, of your melon? Yep, we've got mango there and we've got a green oh, melon here. OK, right. Yep, OK. And what I've done is I've just diced up everything else as well, OK, ready to go, so we can just pop it into the salad. Because the beauty about this, you can just have it all ready to go. People come over in the salad bowl, yep. mix it all up, and yep, you're nice. done. Last minute. And I'm just sort of going through the motions on, on the actions that you would be doing if you were oh, thanks, working Scott. through. So we'll put some more in there. Just a nice shred of well, it's nice and easy. the red onion. I'll tell you what, mate, if you like, you can start heating that pan up, and you can do a little bit of the sautéing. I don't usually let them get that far. You know I don't let them do the cooking. But right. today... Under your thumb, isn't he? To, well, <laughs> 
you know. Oh, geez, there's a lot to have under You're my starting thumb. starting to talk about Steve's dreams now. <laughs> now, now, it's live TV, Colin, behave. <laughs> okay, now, spring onion. That's not in the recipe, but I found some out the back, so I thought we'd use it. And we've just put them to ice water and curled it up. Well, how does it belong? You, it, that could belong to some, a chef for tomorrow. It's too late. We've used it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching, go and get some. <laughs> okay, and the chilli. Now, the chilli depends on what you like, how much you want, how much heat. And you can cut them a little bit smaller than that. Colin likes it hot. I tend to like it a little bit on the on the fainter side. Um, get these prawns in. It really depends how much chilli you like, okay, but cut them up a little bit. Okay, if you want to, you can chop them right up nice and finely as yep. well. But if they're like that, people can avoid them. <laughs> that's, that's a fair call, because a big chunk of that, if you weren't so exactly. keen, wouldn't yep. be flash. No, it wouldn't be. One key thing is not to crowd the pan. If you get too many prawns in there, you'll cool the pan down. Yeah. They'll start to stew, so yeah. you really want to be careful and make sure you keep it... Just a few in there at a time. Have you marinated them with anything or put anything on them? No, just they a just... bit of salt and pepper. I'll just yep. get a little salt and pepper onto them as they... Because all the flavours in the dressing right. for this dish. Mm -hmm. And then it relies just on that real oomph of nice fresh herbs and all that sort of thing to, to give it its flavour. Okay. If you don't like red onion, you don't have to put it in there, but it does actually go quite nice with it. And if you want to, you can salt the onion and wash it off. And it actually that takes do? a lot of the bitterness out of it as oh, well. What is it? Yep. And white onion, so you can do that as well. If you're really concerned about that, but hey, you know... All right, how you going there, mate? We've got... Uh, Looking good, Chef. A couple of minutes to go. See, we're on to it today. You are. All this practice you've given us. Lots of preparation, that's the key. I tell you what, I should be sailing. When? Well, I couldn't be. I don't know how to sail, to be honest. <laughs> no, but that's, a, that's the beauty of this thing. Nor do I, and nor do probably a lot of the people that are watching. It doesn't matter. You don't even need to know what's going on. Exactly. The graphics are so good and... Absolutely. Now, it's all about the wind now. Now, with this, yes, I've got some basil, coriander... A couple of sails for you here, Chef. Thanks, mate. Just drop, you can't have too many herbs, all right? Just drop some fresh, lots of fresh herbs. Okay. Always. Banana leaf, it's our garnish. Banana leaf. Ah. I've just... It is our garnish. You cut that. Not to be eaten. Not to be eaten, not, not to be eaten. garnish. I'll just so we'll cut that. Plates. I'll just rub that with a little bit of oil. That nice, nice and shiny and gives a gloss. A bit like his head. Yeah. Right, so nice and easy. You ready, mate? Yep. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just mix this up a little bit. Do you want those out? Yeah, just put them out, it's fine. A little bit of dressing, not all of it. You just want to moisten it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll just put a little bit over. If we need to put more, we can, but I think that's going to be about it. Mix all that up. And your hands are the best thing for this because you can just get it all up and aerate it and mix yep. it. So you can see how easy it is to do, eh? It's yeah. very simple. And you just transfer some salad. So you can make that a real big one if you wanted to. Yeah. So if Steve was inviting me over, we'd be on little plates. <laughs> which we're going to do over here. Very generous. <laughs> You just eat too much, mate. I'm looking after you, really. Do one great big giant one that everyone can just rip into in the middle of the table. Exactly. Well, you can have these little fancy little entree ones that... All right. Yeah, you put some around there, mate. All right. You just put some of these in the centre. I'll pop these together. Do a little lover's prawns for the top, just so it looks pretty. Oh, that's cute. Get off. Back off. Leave my prawns alone. <laughs> we us put the prawns on the top, because that's what people are paying How for. How many so prawns you should you have per person? Oh, I'll use you four or five. Yeah? If he's coming over one. For an entree, that's ample. anyway. Okay. And that's it. Divine. There we go. Looks beautiful. Well done. Simple. That couldn't yeah. be any easier, could it? No, it couldn't. Alrighty. Thank you so much. It'd be very welcome. nice to see you, as always. Thank you. Absolutely. Good behave. Thank you. We enjoyed Until it. we see you next time. Oh, we always do. Favorini. Shorty Street's <laughs> Jackie Nairn and Amy Usherwood are here tomorrow. Yay, they're going to make a meal for just over $2. Get that.